there's many hints happening in the world of obviously regenerative medicine and AI, right? And you're an expert in that, but can you kind of summarize where it's at right now, where you think it's going, and then we can just go from there and just talk about what really yeah. really excites you right now. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's a good question. Where, how, how is the intersection between AI and regenerative medicine? I don't, I think it's more like over-indexed hype currently, but I think that's just generally what's happening. Um, because I think, yeah, there's just a, there's just a thought about over indexing on intelligence, but if you like take it back and you look at, you know, machine learning is AI, right? But most people understand AI as like large language models and like on the deep, the, the deep neural net side of things. And I think people are just having trouble adopting it. And that's essentially what's hard well, it's calling, causing like some friction points um, in the regenerative medicine space. And you have like, but I think that's just, that's just the climate. The climate is you have people that are like ultra progressive and really trying to advance the technology. And there's no doubt in my mind that AI is gonna change the, uh, is gonna change the whole way we do things. Um, but there's a friction point, uh, meaning that there's uh, kind of like these anti-aging or older uh, guard philosophy that really want to keep control of I'm doctor I tell you uh, and I think that uh, the the use of AI is kind of like uh, accelerating the human in the loop uh, which I also appreciate because the uh, uh, but it's gonna make some fields just obsolete and it's gonna translate like for example if you're a radiologist you know like you probably should be looking for something else to do in the next like five years because it's just going to be better than you. Like it's already determined that. And I think that's just a, like, if you don't physically put your hands on the patient or you're not in the lab developing, you know, but you're just uh, kind of this like inter this wrapper between care and patient, like you will then be a wrapper because meaning like you will wrap the, the functionality of AI for the future. And that's like, uh, that's like what will happen.